Evening folks, I'm Jason, and welcome back to a new year of Nekitako. It's, it's the dancing gators. They, they, they put the boogie in me. So, brand new year. Uh, 2024. I, I don't even, I, I can't fathom that. I'm having issues wrapping my head around that. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that later. I wanted to start out the new year with something different. Something I like. Something that can't really be beaten as far as I know. It's just a game you play. It's a video game, if you were. Revenge of the Gator. Pinball Revenge of the Gator, if you want to be technical. It, nobody calls it that. It's Revenge of the Gator. It's fine. HAL Labs, uh, you know, of Kirby fame. Oh, you know, let's just play. Let's play. And, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk as we play. It's not going to be a long episode because we're not going to try beating it or anything. Like I said, can't. I how does match play? You know, I don't even know what that is. Let's just go. I just thought it would be fun to play a pinball game and get drunk. <laughs> actually, I, I have an idea. I don't know if I'll actually go through with it. I kind of want to play a lot of pinball games. Uh, because I have a... A closeted obsession with video pinball games, uh, kind of like kind of like my rhythm games. I used to hide that. I used to hide that fact. Uh, now now I'm, I'm a little bit more open towards it. You know, well, I, you know, it's not even a little bit. I, I am now because I I'm at the point now where I just don't care. <laughs> you know. People talking about the latest Souls game or whatever grand epic AAA title, and I'm just like, hey, I played Space Channel 5 Part 2 yesterday. I like that game. Like, I don't love it, but I like it. Bust a Move is definitely one of my favorite rhythm games. That's great. I like DDR. That's that's a different type of shame. Cool, cool tune, obviously. We've covered that one. Cool, cool tune baffles me. Um, I didn't realize. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Video pinball. I didn't realize. Uh, it's one of if not the most watched video on this channel by a lot. Uh, I can only imagine it's because nobody has covered Cool Cool Tune before. The comments are hysterical. Like, there's, there's, there was one dude who was criticizing my gameplay, which I just... Like, what possesses you to do that on YouTube? Like, or on the, on the internet in general? Hey, I need to... <laughs> I feel the urge to feel superior. It's like the guy on my Armored Core video who insisted on just criticizing the gameplay when I was just recording just footage for a little music video. Um, some of which was being played by like my six-year-old at the time. I didn't realize what was going on. You just play these games mindlessly. But anyway, I like I like video video games. I always always have. Uh, the very the very first one I can think of was uh, Pinball Construction Kit, which I think was an Electronic Arts game. I'm not 100% certain on that. Uh, 
Um, I think I had it on the Apple IIe. And no, I used to love that, man. I used to put together tables like all day. Let's just see if I can find that one. But I would, I would like to highlight some of my favorite pinball games. Um, I can't, there's not, you know, there's not a whole lot to these games. They're all, they all play very similar, similarly, similarly. I haven't even started drinking yet. They all play alike. And that's okay. Ugh, I don't want to get that up there. Some have better physics than others. You know, this one, for instance, does have a believable physics system. Um, it doesn't feel like the hits are telegraphed. For example, uh, you know what? Before I even get into that, I, we need to open up our sponsor. We're not sponsored. We should be. We're not. Oh, that's better. Now I got the gator in me. Let's go. Uh, so, okay. Uh, I've debated because I thought, I'm, I'm thinking about covering this game. Like I said, I like video pinball games. I really do. And as as we might know, <clears throat> those who have followed the channel for any period of time also knows that hey, I like boobs. Yeah, butts. Butts are great too. So <laughs> I can't free myself to say this. So on one night when I was feeling particularly <clears throat> desperate, sad, inebriated, I came across a sale that happened to have uh, Sinron Kagura Peach Ball on sale. It is a Sinron Kagura pinball game. I don't like Sinron Kagura. I, the main reason I don't like it is because I want to like it, and the game does not allow me to like it. For so many reasons. I mean, I there's a there's a twelve part series on Mechataka, you can go back to watch if you really want to know why I dislike Cinema Kagura. I'm doing terrible, by the way. Ah, oh, I forgot to enter my scoring. What is match? I, you know what? We'll look at that later. So anyway. Anyway. So just my light a little bit. That's a little better. I got a Cinema Kagura, Peach Ball, whatever. My thinking was, you know, it's funny actually, my thinking was a lot like it was when Sinaran Kagura, um, Estival Versus, I think. Uh, it, with that game, I was like, it's a Muso game. You can't screw up a Muso game. They found a way. Here I was, Peach Ball. It's a, it's a video pinball game. You can't screw up a video pinball game. They found a way. Um, man, I'm doing terrible. Uh, it is so bad. My point, though, one of the reasons why it's bad, let's, setting aside the fact that it's Cinerum Kagura, which is its own has its own special problems. Uh, it's it's completely telegraphed. The, the physics are, are so fake. 
you can absolutely uh, determine the patterns. Um, you know, if you hit the ball a certain way, it will always, always, without fail, um, move in a set pattern, a set direction. So it's not, it's not even a good pinball game. It's like, how do you screw that up? Tamsoft finds a way. But Jason, you're saying that's not the point of Cinnaron Kagura. You're probably right. I don't care. <laughs> it's a terrible game. <laughs> Revenge of the Gator, though, while I'm doing terrible at it, uh, it's not a terrible game. So, I mean, okay, it's an early Game Boy game. And you have to put yourself... You need to understand the perspective here. Or, get a little perspective. The Game Boy was a big deal. Portable gaming, back in the day, uh, consisted, prior to Game Boy, was, you know, Game & Watch style LCD. Uh, and those little, and anything with like, the sports games with the little red lights. That was it. Uh, and let me tell you, we played the hell out of those games. We made it work. The Game Boy was a game changer. No pun intended. Uh, it actually gave us console-style games on the go. Now there were limitations, um, not least of which was the, the, you know, the green screen, which I opted against using this time. We we did green screen with Gargoyle's Quest, which was fine, um, but I didn't want to go for completely authentic this time. I was like, you know what? Let's just Let's do something a little less offensive. Um, you know, the system was blurry. You were limited to specific, uh, very specific lighting conditions. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. For kids in the 80s and 90s, man, this thing was magical. Long car trips, bus rides, total game changer. Sucking so hard, this is ridiculous. <clears throat> so revenge. So my experience with Revenge of the Gator it was the summer of. About 89, I guess. Sounds about right. Uh, boom. What's that? Uh, that summer uh, was really just me and my mom. Um, my dad was at work uh, the, the, the vast majority of the day. My brother, my older brother, uh, was working as well. So um, between working and you know being, uh, gosh, college age, close to college age. God, yeah, I guess that's about right. Pretty close to college age. Um, yeah, he had his own his own thing going on. So it was it was just me and me and my mom. Um, so I, I, you know, I'd go, I'd go running with her, do running errands and stuff. Um, and of course, I'd, I'd bring the Game Boy. And one time, we, she needed to go over to uh, a. There was a department store called Zayers, and I used to love going to Zayers because we, we. First thing, I mean, it was just kind of a crazy department store. They, I, I always loved looking at the toy aisle and they had, you know, a great video game section. Um, 
So it was fine. And plus, 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 uh, we'd always get like hot dogs or something. Uh, that was that was super highlight right there. Um, man, it was great. Oh, uh, finally bonus stage. All right. Oh god, I, sc I screwed up immediately. Oh no, we got into another one. Okay. Um, so for whatever reason, I I don't know why. Um, yeah, on occasion, on occasion, I would get. You know, mom would let me get something. Usually it was like a pack of comics. Because they, they would have like these, uh, you know, three or five pack of comics for like a dollar. Um, and I mean, it was, it was stuff like West Coast Avengers, uh, Defenders, you know, maybe Dazzler. Uh, all, all old stuff. Um, nobody wanted it, but I, man, I loved it. I would read it. I would read them front to back. This time, for, for whatever reason, and I, I don't know why, uh, other than, you know, mom just being cool. Uh, we got Revenge of the Gator, and I, I, I don't know why, why I picked it up. I don't know why I was like, hey, can I get this? Um, I don't know why she agreed to it. You know, mom's work in mysterious ways. But I fell in love with this game. And I, I mean, I knew it was a pinball game. And I, I think at that point, I really hadn't played a video pinball game in years. But it rekindled a, a love for video pinball. It really did. Oh, so close. Oh, that's the top layer. That's why it wasn't a bonus stage. It dropped me back off of the top layer. I see. Man, trying to get the ball was ridiculous. So, yeah, Revenge of the Gator from Zares. I, I vividly, I vividly remember that. I remember playing it on the on the way home, driving home in the minivan. Um, I, think, I think it was like an Astro Man or something. There we go, there we go. Thank you. Ooh, we got blockades and everything. Nice. But you could, you could just play these games for hours. But you know what? I, that, that's not right. Not hours. Minutes. But they were great minutes. Oh, what the crap? That was cheap. Whatever. I don't need you. As a parent, I try to duplicate some of that, some of those memories uh, with with my own kids. Um, you know, for example, one time. We were we were at Walmart, and you know they had this little uh, like discount just bin, and uh, there there was a a WarioWare game in it for the 3DS. I think it was like five dollars or something ridiculous. Um, nobody asked for it. Nobody said, "Hey, can we get that?" I saw it. I knew. The boys had dabbled in WarioWare a bit, and they were at the time they were really playing the 3DS. So I was like, "Hey, let's get it." Um, yeah, both of them have, have played the heck out of the game. Um, now, I you know, will they remember you know when we got it? You know, like I did with going to Zares. I don't know. Uh, but but you know when I can, I, I, I try to do that. it does. It means a lot. It, it really does. You know, I, I liked, I'd like to think, you know, my parents did all right. I mean, you know, I, I, t I turned out, you know, the way I did. Um, it's not entirely their fault. 
but <laughs> I like to think I turned out okay. Um, but it's funny a lot of the some of the memories I have. Uh, it's so important to me. Um, I do. I just I want to do. I want my kids to have. Oh, but that is awful. So if you get rid of all the little alligators, they go away. Anyway, I want I want my kids to to have some of those memories too. technical level. On a technical level, it is impressive. You know, it doesn't use the screen scrolling. Um, like, you know, like some video pinball games do. Uh, it is, it is, you know, kind of a snap-based affair, but it's so fast, it, it works. Did not beat that top score. Nearly halfway there, though. No, 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 no. I will put in my name this time. Do, 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 do. I don't know what possessed Hal to make a gator themed pinball game. I have no idea. Let's see what match play is about. What is that? Match play A, match play B. Hey, well, I mean, let's match play. It must be a two player mode with the link cable. Off to a good start. So you might have noticed. Or not, because you're not watching this, because I'm not sure who's watching a Revenge of the Gator video in 2024. Um, I have a new webcam. Uh, upgraded from the old Logitech. Uh, what was it? 5, 520? 560? Something like that. Um, which is a solid webcam. Uh, this is a, a Razer. 60, it's supposed to be 60 frames, 1080p. Uh, 1080, yes, it is. 60 frames, I haven't been able to determine yet, quite honestly. I've recorded. I, I recorded some footage and looked back at it, and the stats do tell me that it's 60 frames, but like eyeballing it, I honestly can't tell. Which disturbs me, because usually I'm pretty good at that. I'm definitely not one of those people who are like, Oh, I can't tell the difference between, you know, 60 and 30. I'm like, yes, you can. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you have to be dead not to tell the difference. Um, now, can I tell the difference between, you know, 120 and 256 or whatever? Yeah, no, not really. There comes a point where I'm just like, yeah, that's, it looks nice. There's another door up there. <laughs> These little gators. Ah, dang it. But I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. The, the funny thing is... You know, I, it's got all these features, like, you know, HDR lighting and stuff like that, which is, you know, that's nice. 
Um, of course, when you use HDR, it limits the frame rate. But again, if I'm, if it, I'm not actually recording at 60 frames, maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. Anyway, I don't think I really need the HDR. I mean, you know, until my OnlyFans takes off, I, I see no reason to, to really you know, go too fancy on the lighting. I also apologize for tonight. Uh, like my lighting's a little off. I thought my other little web light here was charged. It was not. Somebody unplugged it. Probably one of my kids that I will never buy a video game for again. Anyway. Doo -doo -doo. Anyway. The webcam. Again, setting it up. I wanted to set it up correctly. You know, I wanted to get the most out of this this device, which is it's very nice. Um, like the little Logitech webcam was great. Don't, do not get me wrong. It, it was it was nice. It definitely felt like if you sneezed hard enough, you would break it. Uh, this thing is like a camera. That's like a camera lens. Uh, it literally is just like a camera lens. <laughs> I'm sure there's some little electronics in there somewhere, but it feels just like a camera lens, and that's it. Um, but I was, I was, I was a good PC owner, and I went to install all the soft. I installed it by the book, by the instructions. Installed all the uh, software. And I, could, ooh, and I couldn't get it to work. Oh, hello. There we go. Now we're somewhere. So I want to feed the dinosaur. Or dinosaur. It's an alligator. Come on, get out of here. Oh. Um, yeah. And I mean, I, I fought with this thing. It was not working. I'm like, come on, why isn't this working? Why are there angel dinosaurs everywhere? Oh, no, they're not dinosaurs. They're... Alligators, crap! Oh, I want to get back to that screen. Uh, alligators, alligators. It's called Revenge of the Gator, not Revenge of the Dinosaur. Get out of here. Durf. Yay! Oh. Anyway, oh god. Like back down to the bottom. So I, you know, uninstall everything, reinstall it again. Still nothing. Looked online, you know, got desperate. Looked online, and the general consensus consensus was don't install any of the software. Uh, just change the settings through OBS or whatever. Uh, that's just the streaming software. So I did. And yeah, it works great. I'm like, why? Why? That's that's that was my feeling right there. Sorry, testing the uh, camera. It's crazy though, because I mean, this is it, it is legit widescreen. Um, I've cut it off a bit. For this video, because I, I can't, I have nothing to justify that widescreen. It's gonna be great when you know Reese and I play, or Jude and I. That's gonna be perfect for that. Um, but I mean, you guys, you guys don't need a wide shot of the living room right now. Video pinball games, to me, are like the equivalent of modern-day cell phone games, except, 
and without the microtransactions. Oh, come on, what the- that was weird. Oh, okay, yeah, started me up here. They're, they're total time wasters, yeah, but, you know... I don't mean that in a bad way, at all. I really, I really don't. It's just, it is, it's just a little chill. Oof. Man. I did really well that round, except I didn't. <laughs> Winter weather warning right now. So I've got a fire on. <clears throat> it's just very nice. <sighs> they have like little hats on and little jackets here. Here we go. This guy. What oh, dance? Hey, why? Why gators? Why pinball? Yeah, thank you. You know, HAL Labs. It's a great looking game. And it's so simple. It's so simple, but it's so pleasant at the same time. Years later, and I don't know if I'll cover this game. Maybe, maybe I will. Uh, you know, the game, the game Boy was around for a long time, a long time. It, it's so weird when you really think about it. It 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 went through this kind of it went through a resurgence with Pokemon. Because um, I mean, by the time Pokemon came out, I had moved on from the Game Boy. I mean, everybody had. Game Boy was old. We had the Game Gear, which nobody played either. I, I did. I did. I like the Game Gear. Um, but I mean, portable gaming. I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. While the Game Boy was absolutely revolutionary, by the mid '90s, it was feeling old. The Game Boy felt old, and retro gaming in the '90s wasn't really a thing. It was nothing was retro, it was just old. I I can't even say that. So again, I at one point I mean I had sold my Game Boy. I I did not own a Game Boy. I only got the Game Boy again after playing, uh, at the time, uh, my girlfriend's copy of Pokemon on a long car trip, because um, I wanted to see what this Pokemon business was about, because I had seen kids playing it, um, like, like a lot, and I was like, man, what, what, what why are, why are these kids into, like, why are they playing the Game Boy, why are they into this? 
Um, and then when I discovered Pokemon was basically an RPG, I was really impressed. I was like, wow, I can't believe kids were playing this game. Um, so yeah, I, I ended up getting a Game Boy again for Pokemon. Um, but I also got Pokemon Pinball. Which I think it was like a rumble card. It, it, you could put a battery in it and it would shake or something. I don't know. It's pretty gimmicky. Uh, but again, solid Game Boy game. Or solid Game Boy game. Solid pinball game. I played that in college. I have vivid memories of going to speech. It was a required course. Speech. And before class, playing on my Game Boy Pokemon Pinball. Which, you need to remember that in the 90s, it really wasn't cool. <laughs> you were definitely a nerd for doing something like that. And not, and not a, you know, there weren't cool nerds. Nerd, nerd culture was not cool. You were a dork. A social outcast. I didn't care, it was a fun game. I really want to. Ugh, I want to. I want to get the top score. It's not happening. Clearly, I'm so focused on trying to get back to the top one again. The top screen. There we go. There we go. All right. No. 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 There's no tilt function in this game, is there? No, there isn't. Tilting, is, of course, is when you uh, shake the machine. Which, obviously, is a little bit harder to do with video pinball. But a viable strategy in actual pinball. You just have to know the tilt limit. Because if you do it too hard, the game, most machines will recognize that you've tilted. And I mean, tilt detection has been around for a long time. I mean, old pinball machines have it. I'm not quite sure what it is that, you know, what instrument determines if the machine's been tilted. It always fascinated me that that's something that exists. I'm trying to kill the gators. Oh, nice. there you go. Oh, I get it. So you want all the gators to show up. And then they put the block the blockers in. Okay. Or that'll happen. Alright, that's fine. Come on, where's my other guy? You can't wait it out, though, apparently. The game knows what I'm trying to do. Thank you. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> there we 
There we go, there we go. Alright. Now I can go to sleep happy. Ooh, bonus stage. Alright, let's see if I can live this time. Oh, look at this stage. Get back up there. Come on, feed the guy a fish. It's like an alligator kingdom. It's so weird. I bought a stage again. Man, we're killing it. Crap, this is going to put us back on... The third table, though. That's That's this is a good game. Really, it really is. I mean, if you've got a few minutes to kill, you have a portable device of some sort that has Game Boy emulation, or if you have, you know, an actual Game Boy. You could do a lot worse. Ugh. Oh, I refilled. Oh, oh I refilled the, the little blocks. That was rough. So last Christmas, I had uh, I got Jude this uh, little portable gaming device. Uh, I, I apologize, I don't know the name of it. I will next broadcast. I'll get the proper name for it and let you know. Uh, but it, it ran similarly to. Retro pie. There you go. You know, the little microcomputers. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll give this a shot. And, you know, set it up with the emulation station and you know, customize it. And yeah, it's this, it's this cool little. Oh, retro system uh, that emulates you know a lot of systems you know pre PlayStation or play PlayStation included uh, PSP it actually does if I'm not mistaken um, typically you know Saturn and N64 Saturn is Questionable. N64 is sketchy. Um, but I mean, everything else is golden. It's, it's fantastic. And like I said, I customized it for me. Um, but I was so impressed. I was so impressed with the quality of this thing that uh, I ended up getting um, a little bit more advanced. And. I do, I find myself, now I don't do a lot of portable gaming, I just, I just don't have the time, it's so weird, um, but on the, on occasion, where I do, on occasion, I have found myself loading up, like, old Game Boy games, uh, Revenge of the Gator, definitely is high on that list. I 
took it away. Took my buffers away. I like that. Come on. No, no, no. Ugh. Let's do you so well. That's fine. No, I, well, you know, I say I was doing so well. Look at my score. My score just sucks. How did I score so high before? Maybe I just need to do the jackpot. Or the slot machine. I don't, I don't get how this game scores. Clearly, getting up here means jack to my score, but... I don't care. I want to get up to the higher level again. I always thought those guys in the middle were cows and not gators. Look at them. Are we, are we sure those are alligators? Maybe they're fish. No, I mean, look at them. Why do they have like little hands like that? I don't know what they're supposed to be. Everything else in the game is a gator. It has to be a gator. What are those? There's fish, technically. Like, right there, there's fish. There's a sleeping eggplant. And there's a star. Why does the eggplant sleep? It's like a Japanese thing. I don't know. Some sort of like thing where if you dream about eggplants on New Year's, it'll be bring good luck or something. I don't know. This is the same country that brought us Revenge of the Gator, so yeah, whatever. I get that what you will. Amber deck. I think it's, that's the that's the name of the uh, device. It's like a Chinese developer. Really, really impressive voice, though. It really is. And they make a lot of them. There's a ton that are out there. Of, of various power levels. And they're not expensive. That's the really cool thing. Now, if you want... You know, it, if you want to maximize, you know, these devices, it, it does help to have familiarity with RetroArch, or not RetroArch, or uh, RetroPie, uh, and all that. You know, editing the XML file and stuff, stuff like that. Because, I mean, it does come with a, with its own operating system its own GUI, but it, it's terrible. It really is. It's so bad. It runs some PC stuff, too. Um, you know, I got, I got Doom, and, you know, Doom 2, Heretic, Hexen. Those I got running on it. That's really cool. Uh, Scum VM, it runs that beautifully. Now, it, it's funny. On Jude's system, I got it working perfectly. On mine, I had, I messed up something in the XML and I could not find it. I finally did. Um, so yeah, I can run all the Scum games, all the, the LucasArts games and Sierra games on it. That's really, really cool. I love that. There was, uh, I, I, w I went, I did, I did quite a bit of research on this because I was like, this sounds too good to be true. And there was one guy on, uh, that had a uh, did a bunch of YouTube videos discussing all things portable um, for video games and super in-depth reviews of these devices 
Because um, there are a lot of different models. There are some that look like old Game Boys, there are some that are half the size of Game Boy. Um, the one, the ones that I own uh, in Jude's little system uh, look a lot like the Neo Geo Pocket. Um, higher quality. But I mean that that is the closest I can think of. They, look, they, they look, really do look a lot like the Neo Geo Pocket, which is fine. Which coincidentally is also on the system. Those videos actually really helped a lot. I mean, you know, he goes really in depth. You know, to, to stuff that I don't really care about. <laughs> I just want to know if it's functional. And how easy it is to mod. Doing better this round. Oh, you know, eggplants kiss my butt. I'll take that. I'll go to bone stage. Oh God! I hate that they put the gutters in the bonus stages. Come on. Tried to wait. I deliberately waited to see if that little guy would pop up. He didn't because he's a jerk. And I, I hate him. I don't like being I hate being on the bottom stages. Bonus stage. Okay, here we go. This looks like pills. Oh my god, the gutter again! There. That's cool. We'll take that. Come on, fish. Look at him. Look how full he looks. <laughs> I love this. Oh, this one's hard to hit. Oh, sure. Loop it around. There you go. He's getting bigger. No! Crap. I don't think I've never seen that. Out of all these years of playing this game. See, now, now I'm super nervous. Go into the mouth already. Please. That's fine. Because if you notice, my score right now, I'm in second place. Oh! I did not just do that. Still good. We're still good. All right. You know, I told you that I was on. on this was going to be a short episode. I'd only played for like a half hour. I like how that didn't happen. I can't guarantee every pinball episode's going to be like this. Oh. That was a waste. 
But I'm having fun with this. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. Oh my god. We did... Oh, look how close. more. That's all I need. Yes. <laughs> all right. You know what? Let's st let's stop it there. Let's stop there for tonight. Uh, well, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Um, my goal last year was to. Get to 300, have 300 videos, and and we did it like almost up to the end of the year, and we ended on a high note. We ended on beating Panzer Dragoon Saga, and that and that's a great game. I had a lot of fun with Panzer Dragoon Saga. Um, I could not ask for a better 300 episode. How cool is that? This year. What I'd really like to do, and, and I, you know, I know, I don't know how reasonable it is. We'll see. It's, it's only 65 episodes. I would like to get, I'd like to get our episode count up to 365. I'd like to have a year's worth of episodes just to see, just for fun. Um, can we go beyond it? I'd like to. But I'd also like to break from the norm uh, and do stuff like this. Do stuff like Revenge of the Gator. So I, I, I'm going to do a lot of shorter games too. I'm not going to do... I mean, I'm not saying I won't. I'm not saying I won't play longer games. I will. But I like to highlight some of the old stuff too. Some of the old, simpler games you can't beat type of game. Maybe Revenge of the Gator has an ending. I was close to it, maybe, with the giant alligator we can't be any fatter we'll never know play it yourself it's a good game mm. for fun for fun let's do the let's do the old how much is this game going for game on uh, what is it just like ebay let's see what ebay says so we want game boy Revenge of the Gator. Okay, loose. Revenge of the Gator. Uh, free shipping, twelve bucks. Buy it. If you are a classic game enthusiast, you have a Game Boy. Twelve dollars is a steal. That, that's great. I mean, it's fifty dollars for the box. Don't do that. Uh, you don't. You don't need a box. That just takes up room. Oh, I forgot about the old Game Boy cases. I don't have any of those anymore. I still have my Game Boy, and I still have Game Boy games. I don't have any of those old plastic clamshells. That's funny. Huh. But yeah, they're cheap. That's good. That's very good, because it's a good game. It's a solid game. I like it. Well, yay. That makes... It's one of the few retro games we've covered here that is actually affordable. <laughs> so, yay. Good for that. All right. I'm out. I need to figure out how I'm going to edit this, because my... Formatting's all weird and different now. I'll mess with it. We can up with something. In any case, thanks for joining us. This is Jason. This is first episode of 2024. Not our last. And, uh, you know, we'll see you next time. Good night, folks.